today's video, we're going to be revisiting how to fill up those disposable one pound cartridges, uh, but in a better way. If you look at the video from last summer, which I'm going to be listing right here, I was refilling those cartridges that you buy on the store. It is doable, but it's not the best way to do it. These ones, uh, the material is not as thick. You need to freeze it. Uh, takes longer. So I'm going to show you today a better, faster, and more effective way to get your one pounders refilled safely. So without further ado, let's give her. Hello YouTube land, welcome back to the channel. So I'm Eddie and let's get into it right away. We're going to be needing a special valve to attach to your main tank, which I will be listing all those items in the description down below. So you're going to need this valve. You're going to need one of those Flame King DOT refillable and approved cartridges which is the main point of this video is how to use those and to add another layer of safety the brass cap which those that you buy in stores don't have so they tend to leak a little bit so having a brass cap it prevents any kind of leak that you may have so having a brass cap set is nice and again i'll be listing all the information down below so and we're gonna also use just for this video purpose a scale just to show you guys the weight before and after so you can see how effective and how fast it is so let's go to it so just to save time i already installed uh the adapter to the tank which is right here i flipped the tank upside down the tank is full so we're kind of ready to go but before we start i just want to check the weight of this cartridge before we start uh, and then we have a reference point it's important to tell you that each tank comes with a small allen key which i'll show you later why do you need those so make sure you don't lose the allen key but let's check the weight before we even start so so right now we have 18.8 ounces so that's the reference point i'm gonna make sure it's zeroed before we go to the next step so it's 18.7 that's the weight before we proceed next we're just gonna put the tank right here like so you can even move it closer to the edge to make it easier and all we're gonna need to do now is Take the Allen key and just open a screw that has, open the screw that's right here on the side. All right, you're going to start listening. You can hear that slicking, which is just the air that's inside. But now we're going to open the gas. And as, as soon as we start seeing propane being oozed out, it means the tank is full. Let's see how long it's going to take. See, now I can see propane being shot outside, as you can probably see it. So it tells me the tank is full. I'm going to turn the valve, I'm going to close it, close the tank, make sure that the little screw here is properly, is nicely tight. And that's it. That's all it took. So let's check the weight right now. Twenty two point seven, twenty two point eight. So let's do another one just to remind you a few steps of the process. So let's do one more, shall we? So we're gonna follow the same procedure. Here's another one that's empty. I'm gonna just go like so, just to make it easier for me.
This hand tight is fine. I'm gonna make sure the screw is facing me here because then it's easy for me to close it later. Right there, I'm gonna open the valve just a little bit. And now I'm gonna open the propane. Make sure you don't stay too close because there is propane leaking a little bit. So just step away and make sure the area that you're doing this it's an open area. Don't do inside the house or inside the garage because you do have some propane leaking as it's going. Okay, now I can see leak of propane. I can see the propane leaking right here. So it tells me it's full. I'm gonna close the valve and close the tank and that's and that's it that's the time that took to do it so what are the benefits of using the flame king refillable cartridge number one the gauge of this material is much thicker it's heavier you can see that's properly done so there's so minimizes any chance of leaks or bends or kinks so much thicker gauge material Second, and probably most important, is DOT approved. So you can legally do that pretty much everywhere, but make sure you check the regulations in your province or state or wherever you are. And third point is, as you can see, it's much, much faster. Uh, the previous video, I have to put the disposable one inside the freezer for about 20 minutes, refill it. So it was taking about 30, 35 minutes to do it. It still worked, but this way it's faster, safer, and again, DOT approved. And the final piece of the puzzle, which doesn't come with this cartridge, is to put the brass cap, right? So if you put the cap here, there's no chance in hell it's gonna leak. So it's pretty safe, you can transport it without being worried about leakage. So, that's it my friends i hope this video was helpful this is the second take about uh, recharging which allows you to save a lot of money and this way is the best and safe way to do it so let me know what you guys think if you have any questions please ask me in the comment area down below and as always if you like this video please don't forget to give me the thumbs up and if you like to see more videos such as this don't forget to subscribe right here on this corner that's it, guys. Have a good summer. Be good. Be safe. And let's keep the rubber side down. Ciao.